name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. Welcome to Lost Vegas. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Lost Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Darren Otero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, sitting here with my co-host for the day, Paparazzi. What's going on, brother? Not much, man. Excited. We got uh, the Mountain West Conference Tournament here. Yes, we do. Lots of other tournaments kicking off. Yes, we do. Uh, I told you guys I would have a special guest. However, somehow Paparazzi brought me here at 7.05 in the morning. So I don't think Carly's going to be stopping by this early, but... She, she, she looks very, very good. I'm sorry I don't look uh, quite as good as Carly does. Well, we but... were out till about 5 in the morning last night, so she's probably getting a little sleep. So what I'm going to do is plan on doing a later podcast next Thursday. We'll bring Carly on the show. Uh, she has some phenomenal stories, uh, some shit to talk about. You know, I've known her for about 20 years, haven't seen her. We finally rekindled uh, our friendship or whatever, and she's just a cool-ass girl, hustler and uh, be a perfect girl to bring on the show, for sure. I think she'll be very entertaining, and I think our fans will definitely like her. They will, for sure. But in the meantime, we still got to give them that fire. Oh, Conference yeah. tournament's here right in our backyard, ladies and gentlemen. You heard what I said, in our backyard. We got these conferences locked the fuck up, and at this point of the year, it's time to just absolutely get paid. Well, I mean, as we've said in the past, you know the information when we have, I think there's five conference tournaments between this week and next week. You know what kids are flying in, what hotels they're staying in, uh, you know, which, which concierges are with them, which guys are accompanying the teams, you know, from... How they're uh, traveling, yeah, how they're sleeping, I mean, what their situation is, yeah. how they're practicing, how the ball's falling, is it going over, is it going under? There's all sorts of different variables rather than just look at a goddamn computer and pick a minus $400 money line. Yeah. You know what I mean? It takes a lot more than that. March 5th, 2020, podcast number 255. Unreal. Is that fucking amazing? <laughs> Our show airs every Thursday night. We appreciate every one of you tuning in. Now, for all you new guys that are just turning into the show, uh, the VIP Sports Podcast is a spinoff of my show, Money Talks, that I had on CNBC, which brought you into my life of a guy that bets big and lives larger. This podcast is all about the legalization of sports. We said this was going to happen years ago on our first show. We told you exactly how it was going to play out. Here we are, 22 states legal uh, and growing is all I can tell you. So I'd also like to just give a shout out to the state of Michigan, uh, Governor Whitmer over there. Uh, right around uh, Christmas time, they talked and they passed a bill to legalize sports gambling. They hurried it up as fast as possible, and it's going to be for March Madness. They have it ready uh, over at the casinos there. So I'd like to give a shout-out to Michigan for heads up, having it ready uh, for the big dance. Yeah, well, what I want to also give a shout-out is to every state that hasn't figured out the mobile app. Yeah. Even though sports betting is legal, the money's not coming in like they expect. No. As soon as they get these mobile apps figured out like we have out here in Las Vegas, you will see the industry go up an extra couple trillion dollars. Yes. I mean, and that is an absolute fact. So it's not where it's supposed to be yet. No. But it's getting there. They're still making it very difficult for people to put bets in. Yeah. They're limiting them. The lines are still fucked up. Guys, that's what the sports book does. They make it as hard as possible for you to win. They don't just keep building these sports books out of nowhere because they're losing or breaking even. I can tell you that right the fuck now. Well, that's why they've kicked you out of several over here. Well, yeah, hard. Cantor. Eat a dick. Like I said, you want to 86 me for winning too much money? I still get my plays in regardless. That's right. One word. Runners. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Poppy, we got some advertising opportunity. Why don't you tell these people if they want to be a sponsor of the show what they do? Well, if you're watching or listening to this podcast, if you own a small business or work at a company that's interested in getting into this booming sports industry, send us an email over at advertising at VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We'll get back to you with all the details of how to become a sponsor of our show. Absolutely. We got a great show for you today, guys. We got a little shame on you segment. Uh, we're going to talk about conference tournaments. We're going to talk about the NBA Golden Nuggets. That's you know, I very, you know, seldom go with NBA, but I told you guys when the time is right, the time is right. NBA is definitely coming through right now. NHL stellar recap. I've been, I mean, I don't know what else to tell these people. <laughs> I'm giving out so many free Golden Nuggets. Uh, motherfuckers aren't even going to want to call. You Correct. know what I mean? 
But anyway, if you do want to get a hold of us, 877-220-6540. If you're looking for a free sports pick, go to our website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We have packages for all size shapes of sports bettors. Whether you're crawling or balling, small or tall, I'll show you how to flip a fucking $500 bill into a few thousand dollars over the next few days. For all you people out there that are getting your tax return, why the fuck are you looking to buy a TV or a couch or go to the mall and go shopping? I'll show you how to turn your tax return into buying yourself a new fucking house. You guys want to get your little four or $5,000 tax return? I'll show you how to flip that into twenty five, forty thousand dollars over the next few weeks during this tournament. Yes, you will. You've done it many times before. And we'll do it several times again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're watching this podcast on YouTube, make sure you join the live chat that we have in the first airing of each show. We pre-taped this podcast, but we'll be on the live chat each week, mixing it up with you guys to answer questions. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And when you click the subscribe button, make sure you hit that little bell. That way you get notified to all of our comments, the whole fucking nine yards. Mm -hmm. I got to get my lazy ass off my ass and start doing some sports book reviews, which people are demanding. For all you guys that are emailing me and DMing me about the reviews, bottom line is I've just been lazy. Well, uh, well we no, I've been lazy on filming because I got five weeks worth of filming coming here at the end of March all the way through April uh, for our new show, Sports Betting 101 with Steve Stevens. Not to mention, uh, shout out to my man, writer and producer of The Notebook, who's flying out to see me tomorrow to spend the day with me to mm. see if he's going to be a potential writer to do our movie. Correct. Uh, you know, maybe score Scorsese here uh, in a couple weeks in Beverly Hills. So, yes. you know, if you like everything we've done, you're going to love exactly where the fuck we're going. Where else can they listen to the podcast at, Poppy? Well, they can listen to the VIP Sports Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Pocket Cast, and all other major podcast platforms. Or simply just ask Alexa uh, or your preferred smart speaker to play the VIP Sports Las Vegas podcast. We post new podcasts every Thursday night. They can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at VIP Sports LV. And if you don't want to call us direct, Direct message Steve over, that's probably the best way to get in touch with him about doing business with If you, you want to make sure it's really me, DM me, like I said. Best way. I'll have one of my guys get back. If you say the right thing, you might get a phone call from me. You never know. But like I said, guys, don't forget to up your swagger. I'm representing that ABW brand today, that absolute blowout winner. Make sure you cop your hoodie. Go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com uh, or more importantly, go to AbsoluteBlowoutWinner.com to pick up your merchandise today. During the March Madness tournament, you got to get that vibe. Oh, yeah. You got winners and losers. Which one are you? I'm a motherfucking blowout winner, and that's the attitude that I put out in this atmosphere. You don't want to put out any neg ne negativity, no negative thoughts, none of that shit, especially during this time with the goddamn corona being everywhere. You got to be mentally strong so that shit doesn't even come in your system or anywhere near you. Correct. Because this shit is going to spread like flies on shit. It, it, it is. It's, it's a serious thing. People need to start taking it serious. Uh, obviously, you go to stores, masks are sold out, uh, people are preparing, and I think you do need to uh, up, up your game a little bit and be prepared. That is a fact. Well, here's some news. Store owners in Seattle's uh, busiest section are saying it's like a fucking ghost town because of the coronavirus. L.A. County has declared a state of emergency uh, regarding this outbreak. Here's the question that people have been asking me. Out there in Vegas, Steve, what's the worry level like in Las Vegas and at the casinos? Well, for a guy like me, I'm not going to either motherfucking one. I'm going to be forced because all my clients have been in town. But if you see me walking around in a Louis Vuitton mask, just know that that's me for sure because I'm very scared. Uh, guys, don't forget, my office is in motherfucking Chinatown. I walk into the fucking office walking in like this, washing our hands five, six times a day over here to make sure. I look out my window. There's a bus of 45 people getting off a, 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 a tour bus all from China. Sure. That makes me a little bit nervous. I, I walk outside or whatever, and uh, we're sitting there chilling. Someone walks by and farts or sneezes on me. Boy, it's on. You know, we have lots of Asians here uh, that gamble over in the casinos and stuff like that. A lot of people are wearing masks. Uh, but I, I also think of it like this. Las Vegas, our, our entire town is based on tourism and people coming here. So I think they will do everything possible to, to keep it away from here because it would literally wreck our economy. Well, you know that I canceled my Disneyland trip yeah. with my kids in the whole nine yards yes, scared to death because yep. they're everywhere. What scares me is flying. Yeah. So if you guys are on a first class flight and you see a guy in a NASA fucking spacesuit on the airplane, that'll be me. Like I said, I'm reaching out to NASA now to see if I can get a full body suit. I'm the type of motherfucker to wear a full motorcycle street helmet 
uh, just to stay protected. Yeah. Our good, our good friend of the show, Frenchie Morgan, she was scheduled to fly over to South Korea uh, next month. She's had to postpone her trip till next year. Oh, yeah. Taking You're going to have no to put chance, me in a garbage no bag yeah. and make that shit tight. I don't want no air coming in from that system. Yeah. Fuck that. But anyway, let's get into our crystal ball section. Can't tell you how many times I've read the future or told people what was going to happen. Many times. In the beginning of the season, Oddmaker set the over-under wins for Gonzaga at 27 and a half. Mm -hmm. You remember it very vividly, me, you, and Skip, we, we said exactly what was going to happen, which, by the way, 27 and a half uh, was the highest and toughest win total to predict. It was. But... Guess what? What did Steve Steven, the big skipper, agree on? It's going over. We predicted that Gonzaga will win more than 27 and a half games. The result, Gonzaga won 29 games. I gave you that future before the season even started. That's tough to do, guys. 29 regular season wins. I don't Especially in the regular wins. season, the teams just can't get that done. It's right. very... Shout out to Gonzaga for getting that done. And shout out to myself for telling you guys another fucking blowout winner future that would have got you paid. Yeah. Plain and fucking simple. Let's get right on you in the shame on you segment. I like this story. I, I really don't. I don't like giving anybody any shine. This dude sounds like a loudmouth fucking dork That's to me. That's true. Uh, doesn't know how to handle his business and definitely isn't a professional. Uh, go ahead and read the story and then I'll, I'll, I'll chime in. Well, federal authorities allege that 23-year-old sports better known as Parlay Pats. Well, we're going to change his name to Degenerate Pat because he's right. a parlay, and De parlays are for suckers. Correct. So. Degenerate Pats used multiple anonymous social media accounts in 2019 to make threats against athletes, including members of the New England Patriots, several Major League Baseball teams, and multiple college basketball and football athletes. The threats contain derogatory terms and racial slurs. Investigators allege Pats made a $10,000 parlay wager that included the Cleveland Indians, four other Major League Baseball teams, and a female tennis player. Just before the Indians game, Pats allegedly threatened an Indians player life and his child's life. Shame on you, Parlay Pats. You should have listened to Steve Stevens a long time ago and stayed away from those Parlay Pats. So once again, shame, shame on, on you, you, Pats. Like I said, uh, if you're going to bet, act like a big boy. This is a big boy's game. Ain't no room for children. If you bet your little ten, last $10,000 on a 14 parlay, uh, you're the one that should get beat the fuck up for being an idiot. But like I said, I mean, do I understand him yelling and talking shit uh, mad about the games? Yeah, I can't tell you how me and Skipper went to the UN. Remember the story? Me and Skip went to the UNLV basketball game front row. Yep. Had $50,000 on the game. Yeah, I was talking hella shit and had the police sitting by me the entire time. Am I doing racial slurs? No. There's no room for racism in this world anymore either, or you prejudiced fucking piece of shit. Number two, I don't care who you are. You talk about somebody's kid or somebody's child, you need to get dealt with. Yep. You watch your motherfucking mouth about it. You can yell and scream to athletes. You start making racial slurs and talk about their family. Uh, you put me in that position, I don't give a fuck if I'm in Major League Baseball or not. You're going to have 30 people at your house. So my advice to you, uh, Pats, is watch your fucking mouth, grow the fuck up, and if you're going to bet big money, act like it because this is a game for big boys, plain and fucking simple. Correct. Let's do some quick Golden Nuggets recap for those guys that don't know. Dallas Mavericks, just like I said, are now 26-6 and six against the spread in the first half on the road. 26-6, and six, first half on the road. I told you guys to take the Dallas Mavericks, first half on the road. What's that? 20 net units? That, that, that's correct, and that's another point. You guys, guys can't even tell me that you've picked up 20 units this entire year. Let's keep it 100. And, and you're, when you're with VIP Sports, it doesn't automatically mean that you're getting a full game. You might have a first period hockey total. You may have a first half play. That's what you get when you're dealing with him. Information like that, plus 20 units. What's wrong with that? That's what I'm saying. And for you guys out here that sign up for these $99 promotions or $200 promotions and think that you're going to get my personal plays in the games that I'm betting yourself, myself, you're wrong. Now, the whole idea of a promotion is to get your feet wet, make yourself some money, get comfortable with the system. But if you're a guy betting two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 looking for a college $50 play, cheap things aren't good and good things aren't cheap. You know, if, if you want to bust a nut off, you can go to Boulder Highway and risk your life catching AIDS, or you can get you a high dollar hole that's going to turn the lights on, examine your cock, put a rubber on it, and make sure you're safe. Right. I mean, one thing in this world, you get what you pay for. Moving on, like I said, right into the college basketball college tournaments. Who's the college basketball tournament sponsored by? Our, our boys over at Blue Chew. I'm a big fan. I keep trying to tell you guys, definitely go check Blue Chew out. Uh, they're doing a promotion if you put in VIP. 
You get a free sample. All you pay is the five bucks shipping. And again, I, I am uh, I, I am a true believer in. Well, blue they chip. pay you to read the motherfucking ad yeah. word for word. So go ahead and read the real sponsor. You know All what right. I mean? well, so they don't want to fire us. You know. Blue Chew. We are pleased to be working together with our friends over at Blue Chew uh, throughout March Madness. Now, if any show talks about sex, it is definitely this podcast. So listen up, guys. It's time to increase your performance and get an extra boost of confidence in the sack. Blue Chew is the first chewable alternative with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, day or night, and they work twice as fast as a pill you swallow. So you'll be ready to go when that special someone is in the mood to go down and get down. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy. It's made in the USA and ships right to your door in a discreet package. And right now, Blue Chew is offering a special deal for the fans of the VIP Sports Las Vegas podcast. Go to BlueChew.com and use the special promo code VIP and get your first shipment absolutely free with no haggle and no hassle. That's promo code VIP and you'll only pay the $5 shipping fee. So up your swagger and be a baller in and out of the bed with Blue Chew. What's blue like the color? BlueChew.com. Try it for free today. I love it. Right back into the business, guys. Every fucking conference tournament is either in action right now, tipping off in the next five days, except for, of course, the Ivy League tournament. Uh, That starts, I think, March 14th, three days before the normal tournament. Mm -hmm. Guys, grab your pen and a piece of paper. Here are some teams to watch out for either against the spread or on the total in a few upcoming conference tournaments. You ready? Missouri Valley Tournament, okay? Missouri State 7-1 against the spread in their last seven days. They they are on fire. They're hot as a fucking pistol. You want to look out for Missouri State against the spread. What about the Colonial Tournament? March 7th. You got Hofstra 9-1 against the spread in their last 10 games. 90%. Yeah, 90%. Uh, Townsend 5-1 against the spread in their last six games. 90%. So if you're going to look at the Colonial Tournament, you might want to look at Hofstra and you might want to look at Townsend. These are two teams that absolutely get the job. And these guys are teams that are now healthy, playing good, going into the conference tournament. So these are teams you want to be on. No doubt about it. Let's go to the American East tournament on March 7th. Vermont, 19 and 11 against the spread. Hartford, 20 and 8 to the under. Hartford, 20 and 8 to the under. Albany, 21 and 9 to the under. Guys, you just got to know what to do. You don't just go bet a side in every fucking game and try to either pick the underdog or, or the favorite. There's a lot of money in first halves, and more importantly, the total. Correct. You just got to know what division you're in and what to do. If you know what you're doing right now and you have connections like me, this is actually the easiest time to get money. And you've been telling people this, too. But for the public, it's the hardest. Right. And they're losing left and fucking right. Uh, Let's move on to the Summit League tournament, Mm -hmm. okay? That's on March 7th. South Dakota State is 12-3 and against the spread in their last 15 games. 80%. 12-3 12-3 and three against the spread. We'll move on to the West Coast Tournament, which is in Las Vegas, my backyard, which is already in progress. Mm-hmm. You got Gonzaga, our college basketball Golden Nugget team of the year. Gonzaga went 25-6 and six to the over. 25-6 and six to the over. So, you know, there's two different things you can bet with Gonzaga. Gonzaga on the road, uh, getting money, which in this tournament, they are on the road pretty mm-hmm. much every game they play. Yep. Uh, first half. Or you just fuck around with the total and knock out the over, you know? Historically, over in this tournament, is played over at the Orleans. Gonzaga owns this tournament. Yes, they, they do. They, they've won, I think, nine out of the last ten years. they play very well in New Orleans. Yeah, 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 they do. They cover the games. Uh, they own this tournament. So. And they score a lot of points. They, they do. Gonzaga, guys, is definitely a team to watch. They, uh, Mark Few really has this team in gear and uses this as a prep for the big tournament because Gonzaga is a team who naturally goes deep in the tournament year after year. So watch Gonzaga in this tournament. Does Gonzaga win the tournament? The whole thing? Yes. Well, you're doing a lot of breathing heavy. No, they don't. Like I said, it's going to be somebody unorthodox, somebody that you're not expecting. I think, uh, I think Gonzaga can get there. Oh, they can get there, no doubt about it. I said, do they win it? Yes. Okay, good. You heard it right there. Paparazzi yes. said Gonzaga. Uh, Steve Stevens said they do not win it, the it championship. Won't, it won't be Duke. Uh, I won't be Duke. I, I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Yes. Okay. I, I think Gonzaga does this year. Okay, well, we're going to see. Well, so here's the thing, guys. Uh, Gonzaga, like I said, is a solid team that paid me all year. So best believe I'm going to ride with them. It's just a matter of do you take them first half or do you take the total? Right. 
plain and simple. Let's move on to the ACC, which is March 10th. You got three teams with heavy over trends. You might want to write these down, guys. Duke. Instead of trying to bet on Duke or against Duke, just bet the fucking total. Duke is 21 and 9 to the over. 21 two, and 9. Two thirds of the time you're getting paid. Wake Forest, 19 and 8 to the over. And that these are full games, guys, not first half, anything like that. Syracuse, 20 and 9 to the over. Georgia Tech, 18 and 9 against the spread to win the game. 18 and 9 against the spread. Let's move on to the what? Mid-American Conference? Yep. That's a conference that we've got a lot of fucking money on, but it's just the opposite. The MAC, March 9th is when it starts. These are teams that go under. Right. What do we got, Poppy? Well, we got Northern Illinois, who's 19 and 9 to the under. For the game. Yes. Akron, 18 and 10 to the under. Uh, Ball State, 19 and 9 to the under. Shout out to Ball State. We just had a blowout winner on the other day. Yes. Eastern Michigan, 18 and 8 to the under. That is correct. Moving on to the Big 12, guys, which is March 11th. Baylor, 18 and 11. I hope you guys are writing this shit down because I don't do this for my health. You know what I mean? I get paid from sponsors. We don't just go over every single matchup. I'm giving you trends of teams that are going to get you absolutely paid. Correct. The sports, this, this, this sports betting show is all about how you can make money, not preview shows. I don't give a fuck about who wins or loses. I care about who covers the spread and who pays me. I don't have any feelings or emotion when it comes down to my money. Right. Period. So you got uh, uh, Western Virginia, uh, 22 and 8 to the under. That's a team that you might want to stick on the under throughout the entire tournament. Right. And it doesn't mean, guys, if you jump on them and you listen to this podcast today and you just go pick one of these teams and the game loses, that doesn't mean, hey, you just jump off. No. The, these are trends, guys, that are getting you paid. And if you stick with these teams, you are getting paid. The proof is in the pudding. Go watch the podcast. Go look at this. But more importantly, you definitely want to call him for the games that he's betting his money on because these are trends. The games he bets his money on hit even higher. And then you got the Pac-12. Over at the MGM, they got that yeah. shit laid the fuck out, yep. uh, which is one of my favorite tournaments to watch personally. Uh, you got the Pac-12, like right here in Las Vegas, starting on March 11th as well. You got Stanford, 19 and 10 against the spread. USC, 19 and 11 against the spread. Also, USC, 20 and 9 to the under. Yep, those games. So, are like going. I said, USC is not only covering, but they're covering the under for the overall total as well. Yep, Oregon. Now, Oregon is a team that I expected to do a little bit more and be focused and blow people out. However, Oregon's still 18 and 10 to the over. Yeah, they got Peyton Pritchard. That kid plays really, really good uh, offense and defense. Uh, Oregon is usually a team that you would expect more to the under, but the, they're paying a little bit more uh, fast paced this year. Uh, yes, they are. However, uh, Oregon is 18 and 10 to the over. Uh, the Atlantic 10, which is March 11th, uh, you got Dayton. 27 and 2 straight up. Shout out to Dayton who got us paid last night. Yep. Uh, got the job done Easy by win. double digits. Yes, they did. Uh, UMass 18 and 11 against the spread. LaSalle 18 and 11 against the spread. And last but not least, George Washington 20 and 10 to the under for the entire game. That, that conference, guys, Dayton has absolutely destroyed that conference. They're head and shoulders above. The only team I really see in that conference that could give them a threat is Richmond, but uh, Dayton is head and shoulders above. Yes, they are. Conference. Now, the Conference USA, uh, March 11th, North Texas uh, is 19-9 and nine against the spread. However, they shit the bed last night and lost outright. They, they did, but they have already clinched the uh, regular season title last night. You still need they to had, go out there and ball. They, they did, but they really didn't have anything to play for. And, yeah, uh, but this ain't, this ain't baseball, brother. I, I these, agree. These are hard-working fucking college kids. You go out there and play as hard as you fucking can if you're trying to get to that league. So you're going to tell me that the coach told them to play easy yesterday? I, I don't think the coach said, let's play easy. Uh, I just think that the coach may have played uh, limited minutes with the better players. Last well, then shame on you to the fucking coach I because agree. at this time of the year, you're not looking to take an L and fuck up the team mentally. I, I, I totally agree with you. I don't think you go into a tournament trying to do that at all. I think you go in with a hot streak playing the best you possibly can. But I think last night, limit, minutes were limited with North Texas. Yes, that's, they were. That's why they got a 19-point blowout the other way. Well, Steve Stevens was on North Texas. I, I know. You always hear talking about how hot I am. I'm hot as a pistol. I had five games yesterday went four and one and my loser was North Texas. Yeah, people think that you just bullshit and say you just win, win, Yeah, win, I win, win. everything. You, I've won five, 55 in a row. You, Get the fuck out of here. You're the first guy to admit when you lose a game. You're not shy about it at all. Let just me make so it you guys clear know. to the camera. Losing is part of this business. Yeah. However, if you win three games to every one you lose, you have a problem going six and two for the week? No, sir. Especially, you know, you're betting $1,000 a game. You pick up an extra four Gs. 
My five dime players pick up an extra 20. My $10,000 players pick up an extra 40,000. These are real numbers, guys. Yeah. Not no fake pretend fucking made up bullshit. This is real life shit that you guys need to be focused on. And as the bookie killer, it's my job to make sure you guys get a piece of that fucking pie. That's, that's the money's out there to get. Best believe we're going to get that, it. That's why money talks too is uh, coming into play. So you can right it educate is. and help the new sports gamblers of the industry. That's the whole idea of the show. You do like making money, correct? I'm Steve Stevens. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. Whether you're here in town on business or to flat out gamble, don't forget, sports betting is a multi-billion dollar industry and you deserve your fair share. Call 877-220-6540 or go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com, mention this ad, and get a $500 personal play absolutely free. See you in the winner circle. NBA segment, which like I said, uh, I am betting NBA right now. Dallas Mavericks, 26 and 6. Did you see how that game went into OT last it, night? It, it did. That was a great game. With the right Mavericks. when they thought they had it done, boy, he hit the three at the end, tied him up, and said, let's go, motherfuckers. Yep. Mark Cuban didn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> but anyway, Dallas is 26 and 6 against the spread uh, on the road in the first half of all away games. And, and if you've been listening to the podcast, guys, we've been giving you that stat the last bunch of podcasts. So if you're listening, playing it, you've been making money with us. Now, you want a fucking bomb-ass first-half team that goes over? Let's talk about Washington Wizards, Poppy. Yeah, the Wizards are 42-19 and 19 to the Say over. Say that again? 42-19 and 19 to the over in the first half of all games, including last night when Washington and Portland combined for 133 first-half points. However, that game actually went under last night. The total was 242. Uh, the game stayed under. I think it went uh, to 232. Yeah, it did. Uh, uh, what the total was. But Washington, uh, without John Wall all year, he had surgery. You would think that team was going to be a little bit uh, slower paced than they are, but they are absolute up and down, up and down, absolutely no defense. Uh, and they've been getting you paid in the first half if you've been playing the overs. Bottom line, play Dallas first half. Washington Wizards over in the first half. And last but not least, the Sacramento Kings. It's a team that you wouldn't see on my ticket too often. However, 20 and 4 to the uh, uh, under in the first half. So Sacramento's the opposite. That's a team that you want to bet under in the first half to get paid when they're on the road. Yes. Chicago Bulls are 23 and 9 to the under at home in the first quarter. Yeah. Not first half, first quarter. So if you want to bet the Chicago Bulls, take them in the under in the first quarter. Plus, nothing feels better than winning the game after the first quarter getting paid, and be able to chill and watch another three quarters of basketball. Yeah, right, right now, too, the Bulls have a lot of injuries. Uh, they're a one-man band over there with Zach Levine, uh, and uh, they're, they're constantly an under team in the first quarter, a low-scoring team, so definitely stay on that set. Adam Sandler had it right in Uncut Gems. Uh, NBA boils down to the last four minutes of the motherfucking game. Yes, it does. So unless you have some serious information like I get where we can get in and out in the first quarter or in and out in the first half, those are games that I like because NBA second half, so much shit happens. I can't tell you how many teams are up by 20 at the half and lose by fucking 10. Yeah. Period. Very true. That's NBA, guys. So you got to know what the fuck you're doing, period. So at this time of the year, stay focused. And I will say it again. There's only a couple teams I previewed in the NBA that I want you to bet on. Other than that, all the money is in college basketball right now, period. Why? There's too much to choose from. There's too much information. And manipulating college is a lot easier than the NBA weed-smoking, multi-millionaire motherfuckers that just want to fuck all day. Yeah, and guys, don't make the mistake of getting information from a guy like this in college basketball and then going on your own, throwing it back on NBA, where you end up now paying when you can make some easy money by listening, by investing with him, and then going to do some stupid shit on your own. Well, that's the number one way how clients rob my whole room. Correct. Where they sign up with us for a week, uh, they pick up five solid units, they got five grand, now they're supposed to invest five grand to make another 25 grand, but because they went and bet off the games and the money that we made them on their own shit, right. now they're jeopardizing our business deal because they lost on their own, and in fact, we didn't do anything. We actually managed their account the right way, mm -hmm. built their bankroll up, See, guys, the whole idea is to sign up with us for a week, build you a bankroll up, and then invest those profits into a, a program that'll make you four and five times the money. Sure. Remember one fucking thing. I don't get paid unless you do. I don't want one dollar from you. It's the bookies' money that I want. Remember that. Right, you guys are partners. This isn't uh, them paying you for that. You guys are partners, literally partners, Period. based on your information. It's you and I against the bookie, not you and I against each other. I'll hold his arms behind his back. You punch him in the face and knock him out. 
will go through his pockets and split that shit. How's that sound? That sounds great. Let's move right into NHL, Poppy. What's that recap? Well, we said that the Philadelphia Flyers won four straight games. Result, they are now up to seven straight games after defeating the Washington Capitals last night. Um, recap again, we said the St. Louis Blues, who are the champions, had five straight wins. Result, the Blues added three more, and they are now eight straight wins. So you got the Philadelphia Flyers off seven wins in a row, and the Blues off of eight. Our Golden Knights are now 9-1 and one in their last 10 games. They had a hiccup the other night, yep. but they are playing great. We added some great pieces uh, over at the trade deadline. Question for you. Now, with this new night team, with uh, the new coach, which we weren't very happy about. No, he's performing. He's performing. Do you see the Knights now as a team that we didn't even think? We, we, we weren't sure they are going to make a playoffs. Do you see them now as a Stanley Cup contender? Absolutely. I agree. I always thought they were before. I just had no idea. You know, we have the talent. We have some young killers on our fucking team. I can tell you that right now. We can score. We can play defense. But, I mean, the whole thing about the Knights is they just can't allow so many shots on Flurry. You know what I mean? That motherfucker, even though he's a young stud, and I'd have to say if he's not the best, he's the second best in the fucking league. Mm. Who would you say number one is? Sharks goalie? No, Martin Jones, no. Uh, well, I mean, you always talk about it, so I didn't, I didn't know who you thought. Uh, I like Tuka Rask for Boston. Yeah. Uh, you can still put Fleury in there with him yeah, all day I mean, long. Fleur, yeah, Fleury's a great goalie. I mean, and he gets a lot of shots put at him, so it's kind of unfair. Yeah, but he's like, like a fucking acrobat over yeah, there. He's doing and, the splits. He's got his leg and, over his behind and his And he's head. a money goalie. And, I mean, that, that's, to me, when it's time to perform in crunch time. He performs. So. Uh, you think so? Yeah. That, that's he, called a fucking certified bona fide winner. Yes. Look at his rings if, if you doubt his fucking talent. You, you know, know what he, I mean? Using a horse racing analogy, you know, the Knights, we had the talent, and unfortunately, Gerard Gallant, I think, got everything he could out of them. And it's sad to say that he had to go, but it's, you know, with horses, too. With horses, you get as much as out of them you can. Sometimes they go to a new trainer, and that new trainer, whatever he does, works. And uh, whatever... Yeah, he shoots new, him up with more shit than the last trainer. Yeah, did. it makes a couple changes. And I think uh, the new coach here has done that. And, I mean, the, the results are there. 9-1 the last 10 games. I hate it on him, but I'm proud of him. Well, here's another recap. We said the St. Louis Blues had five straight wins. You know what the result was, right? The Blues added another three straight wins since last week. Just a stat I gave you last week, three wins since the last time I told you to start betting. The Blues now have eight straight wins, and they're definitely giving motherfuckers the Blues. They are. That's for sure. And like you said, Golden Knights are 9-1 and one in their last 10 games, so you got to look out for them as well. They're coming on at the right time. Guys, it's crunch time. We're in March Madness 110%. However, it's not too late to build you up a bankroll. Call 877-220-6540, take advantage of one of my promotions, or simply just DM me. Put your number in for a free pick. I'll have a representative call you, go over packages with you, and come up with something special for you to make more money than you ever thought you could fucking make. Now is the fucking time, and I don't want to see the players be the only ones to get paid. More importantly, in life in general, you got to stay positive. you got to stay focused. Remember, this world deals us a lot of fucking crazy shit. First, we're at war. Then everyone's chirping on Donald Trump. Now, you don't hear much about Trump now with no. the coronavirus being out there, do you? No. So, like I said, you never know what's going to come your way. However, keep motivated people around you. you got to surround yourself with positive people. I'll be the first to say, over the last six months, I had a little negativity around me in my circle. Yes. But a couple elbows and a couple hooks got those motherfuckers off my back, and now I'm in literally the best place that I've been in probably over the last eight years. Mm -hmm. I'm back to that Steve Stevens grinder guy that doesn't take no for an answer, a guy that'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. If I got to put a uniform on, paint my face, and get in the fucking game, that's what I'm going to do. So if you want a no-nonsense sports consultant that's going to go to bat for you, basically go to war for you to make sure that you win, well, he is I, and I am him. Call me Slim with the tilted brim. You know my motherfucking <laughs> name, Steve motherfucking Stevens. And like I said, guys, it's, it's a money pit out here right now. I got clients flying in left and right. You deserve your piece of the action. It's a trillion-dollar industry. Don't you think you deserve your piece? I think we all deserve our piece. You're course. motherfucking right. So, guys, let's go fucking tear up this March Madness tournament. Let's get paid. Let's stay positive. In real life, life is too short for any bullshit. You got to make every day like it's the last fucking day. If you're not happy in your position, change it. Change is always good. Do whatever it takes. Shout out to all the single dads out there that take care of their kids. I got your back 110%. For you dads out there that don't take care of your kids, eat a fucking dick. And to all the single women out there that have been taking care of their kids from day one, Amen. shout out to you. 
and shout out to, you know, all you bad mothers out there that do foul shit around your kids and put them in bad positions and embarrass them. Shame on you as well. Shame on you. But like I said, life is great right now. There's more money to be made than if they could possibly ever fathom. And I want to make sure that you get it. On the behalf of VIP Sports and myself, we love you. Stay tuned into our social medias. I'm going to show you guys how to rip this fucking tournament's fucking head off because at the end of the day, there's only one thing that we all looking to do, and that's get fucking paid. We love you. See you next week. And like I said, don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. We love you. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started out with nothing. Deal me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up as they ain't want to see me breathing. Nice try, but my bosses never die. Fresh out the hospital, stitched up, getting high in the game that I pick. Believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. I ain't perfect, I'm a sinner. All about making wages. We love to gamble out here. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks, money talks, money talks. If you're about to talk paper, money talks, money talks, money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks, money talks, money talks. If you're about it, talk paper. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks.